Welcome to our P&O Oceana Cruise Vlogs. In this episode we show you embarkation, our balcony cabin and we enjoy our first night on board. Right then! <laughs> right then, we're Paul and Carol out to travel yeah. and our adventure started about four hours ago but we've had dreadful weather. We're now sat in a queue at the terminal waiting to get our car parked so we can actually get in and get on the ship. That's right, so we've got blue badge parking so we're just waiting for the receptionist to come get our keys. Um, been huge delays because of um, Storm Dennis, isn't it? Dennis, huge delays, yeah. so we can't get on to four o'clock um, so we're just sat waiting. Yeah. Finally, after about an hour, they took our car away and we entered the Mayflower Terminal. When we did get inside, it's fair to say it was pretty packed, making it very difficult for my father, who was on a mobility scooter, to manoeuvre around the very busy terminal. So, right, we're in the terminal and they're teasing us, because look, this is the signs there. They won't let us on. No. No, not till, uh, well, who knows? There's a, there's a, a man there in a dress for some reason, yeah. in a purple dress. <laughs> going on, going on to the ship, to the ship. Thank you. There she is. Ooh. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. It's been a long, long day. What do you want to say, Annie? Been a long day? It's been a very, very long day. And I could do with a small beer. A small beer. <laughs> a small one. Do you hear that? Sorry. Right, so we found our deck, so we're now looking for A305, so I guess is the front of the ship this way? Yeah. How do you know? Because I know. Oh. I've got no sense of direction. <laughs> I haven't. Sure it's cruise number 20, I believe. <laughs> it's cruise no number 20. Sense, no sense Forward, A305. see our suitcase on this. Well, can you? Oh yes, there it is. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? New ship, new cabin. Our big bag's not there though. A309, A305. So here we are. This is going to be a little home for the next seven days. <gasps> Go for it, Annie. Oh my. <gasps> Love it. Oh my God, look, welcome aboard. We've got flowers. Is that normal? Oh, how lovely. Nice. Oh, a bit motion. <laughs> oh, and we've got... Yeah, fantastic. So this is a, just a standard balcony cabin, isn't it, that we booked? Um, oh, I love it. We've even got a robe, honey. Where was there? Just cut the, cut the chairs and the table out there. So, so when, um, the, when the better weather comes yeah, in... I don't think we'll be sitting on the balcony very much. Um, we're still dealing with Storm Dennis. We had a bit of a horrific day, but we're here and we're happy. 
So let's have a little look around. So, um, tea and coffee, and then we've got our balcony here, which you can see, which is quite actually very sheltered. But we're doing a full tour, obviously, um, later on when we get to know this better. So, um, what we need to do is just have a quick look at the bathroom. Paul has already got his suit out of his bag. I can't believe what flowers. How lovely. I wonder if everyone gets that. Curtain, but it's the, the shower is very big. Is it? Yeah, Let's have a look. Oh, look at the little detail in the bathroom. It's not a huge bathroom, but... Um... Let me take your uh, gun rack off your back. <laughs> so there we are. So we're in. We're in. We're in and we're on. Whoop, whoop. Happy holidays, thank you, man. If you don't take your fingers back, I'm going to throw you. <laughs> After Carol finally took the tripod off her back, we got onto my favourite job, unpacking. If only it really went this quick. With the unpacking done in lightning quick time, we headed off to Tiffany's to arrange our all-inclusive drinks package. We chose the ultimate drinks package and that comes out at £39.95 per person per day. We'll let you know if we got our money's worth at the end of the cruise. With the drinks package purchased, there was only one place to go, the pub. Compass Pub's drinks menu, which shows you the prices of the drinks currently on board. Conveniently for us, our safety drill took place in the pub. And unlike some cruise lines we've sailed with, you don't have to take your life jacket with you. With mustard drill done, it was time for dinner. We chose Freedom Dining, so our main dining room was the Ligorian restaurant found on deck 5. We thoroughly enjoyed our first experience at the Ligorian restaurant. Both the service and food were excellent. Here's the menu to give you some idea of what was on offer. And as you can see, we went proper old school with a good old fashioned prawn cocktail and a juicy sirloin steak. With dinner finished, we had a quick walk around the promenade deck before heading to the pub for our first quiz of the cruise. So we just had uh, dinner in the Ligurian. Is it Ligurian? Is that how you pronounce it? That's why we are pronouncing it. So if you've got it wrong, I can just laugh at you. And they were sat in the, um, well as Jan likes to call it, the anchor. <laughs> but it's called the... Yacht and Compass, we, we found camp. the pub, yes. so we sat in the pub so, because we had muster stationed here, so that's all done now, thank, thankfully, and we're just going to have a few beers, I and, you were gonna um, say. Thankfully. thankfully, so we're just going to have a few beers and uh, sample the wine list and the beer list, yes. and pina coladas. You didn't mention how we got on in, in for our dinner though, our evening meal. Well, it's fabulous. Yes, it was excellent. Yeah. Off to a great start. Yeah. Um, if it's a sign of things to come, we're very, very pleased. Yeah. Definitely. Succulent steak, luscious lamb. <laughs> That's enough of that. I don't have two glasses of wine. Yeah. Right, we'll catch you later. Bye bye. <laughs> we know that. Well, I know what that is. It was. Um... Pina Colada.
Chin chin. <laughs> so our first quiz on Oceana. It's desperately let down by my team tonight. <gasps> very, nice job, isn't it? very, very disappointed. They told me the right answers. I refuse to listen to them. Exactly. I went with my own choices. I blame them for not being more forceful. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> ah, what are you going to say about that, John? Well, all I'm going to say is I think you and Jan and I were brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right, he, he wasn't so good. No. <laughs> ah. yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> There were two shows on offer tonight, one at each end of the ship. At the Footlights Theatre there was a Barry White tribute, but we chose the Starlights where resident band Pulse donated his tribute show which we thoroughly enjoyed. After a very long day, we were going to call it a night, but the lore of the late night buffet was too strong, so we popped up to see what they had on offer. It's open till 2 in the morning. I know it's late in the day, but there's still time for one of your five a day. So I've got some carrot cake. And I think that might be made of beetroot or chocolate. <laughs> so, Polly, you got some bottles of water there. Yes, bottles of water. Uh, if you get the all inclusive package, you can go to any bar and ask for water. And they'll give it you. Yeah. And it's F O C. <laughs> yeah, pretty job. Bit rocky and rolly in the English Channel now, so we're uh, come with us. Woo! <laughs> we're off. Why are we going down, honey? I don't know where we are. Where are no, we? No, I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, we're going at seven. I thought we were still on 14. Uh, are we going at 11? Yes, we're going to 11. Where are you going? Oh, it's like a shadow came through that door. I want to use stealth. <laughs> After getting our bearings, we made our way back to our cabin. thoroughly enjoyed our first day on the Oceana and we're looking forward to see what tomorrow will bring. Stay tuned for episode 2 where you'll find out what surprise we had in the middle of the night.